Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new to the channel as well. Today I have a very special video for you all. I'm going to be showing you all of the items from the new Animal Crossing New Horizons update. I also wanted to say a massive thank you to acbell 77 on Instagram for providing me with all of these items today. They're an awesome Animal Crossing shop and I really would recommend you guys checking them out. Myself and acbell 77 are also going to be doing a giveaway of all of these items. They have 101 pieces in their new update set, so if you would like to get your hands on them, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, follow them on Instagram, and fill out the form in the description below. Anyways guys, let's have a look at everything from this update! To start this video off, I wanted to show you the Marekas. Players will have got this in their mailboxes after they've done the update. If you press A, they do this cute little animation of jiggling the Marekas. Um, but yeah, they're not a very rare item because everyone has them, but I still wanted to show it because it is part of this set. One of the first things that I want to draw your attention to is this massive peacock float. If you press it, it turns on and the feathers stand up like that. Um, it also moves its head around. It's a little bit creepy in my opinion, but I think it's still kind of cool. This is the complete festival set in red, guys. There are many different colours and I'm pretty sure that each island gets their own colour. So if you want to get your hand on a different version, then you're definitely going to have to do some trading. This is the beautiful red set. I think this is one of my favourites, if not my favourite in the game. I love the orange tones and the yellow tones. They are just, you know, my kind of vibe. So in these sets, you get this giant balloon. It also lights up, I'm pretty sure, so I will show you that at night in a bit. Then you have the bongo drum, the stool, which is beautiful. This is a confetti machine, so if you turn it on, you get some confetti like that. This is the stage, and the feathers fly around when you walk over it. You get a lamp. This is the lamp here with the feathers on top. Um, these are the red feathers. I'm pretty sure that you use the feathers to customize each item to the color you want. So make sure you're catching them during the festival. That's the parasol, a banner, and then you get these outfits. So you have the costume and the dress and then a headpiece. The headpiece is really pretty. And the final piece you have is the festival garland. I think this is my favorite piece out of all the festival stuff. I can just see myself using this the most. Maybe pop it behind a kid's tent or something like that. I think it would be really cute. The next one is the pink. So you have all of the same items in this set and you use the pink feather to customize your items to this beautiful pink color. The next is the green. This one screams spring and summer to me. I think this is really cute. These feathers almost look like leaves. They look like peacock colors actually, all of them. Then there's this lovely royal blue one, blue and white. I think this one is gorgeous as well. These give me kind of beachy vibes, so maybe this is something that I would use on the beach, especially these flags here. I think that looks so pretty. The final one that we have is the rainbow set. This one I can definitely see being used on kid core islands and stuff like that just because it has so many pretty colors in it. So yeah, these are all the different sets. For the rainbow one, you don't get an outfit. That's the only difference between the rainbow one and the other ones. All the other sets have the outfits and the headpieces. The thing that I was most surprised about with this update was the new mermaid fence. I know that previously some hacked islands were able to get this beautiful fence into the game, but now everybody can have it. It does seem to be part of the mermaid set that we already have and I think reading some articles it was actually meant to be released but there was a bug that meant Pascal didn't give us the recipe but now it's completely obtainable in the game to craft it yourself. All you need is a pearl, coral and sand dollars. This was something I was really surprised to see in this update, I think just because I don't really understand the reference or where they're from, but these are ogre outfits, you get them in green, blue and red, and this is an okami mask. 
sticking with the lunar event we also got these lucky pouches and these lucky red envelopes i'm pretty sure that you can pop money in them and give them to villagers or to your friends i'm not 100 percent sure on their use yet so please feel free to let me know in the comments below what you can do with them but i just wanted to showcase them as part of the lunar set with the lunar new year we also get the decoration for the door it looks like this i'll just do a quick zoom in so you guys can see i'm not 100 percent sure if it says anything or again what the purpose of it is um but yeah it's a pretty nice door decoration <laughs> one of the things as well that i think most people are excited about with this update are the beans i think this is a tradition in um some cultures i'm not 100 percent sure again so i'm not gonna say anything about it but yeah i just think they are so cute and the little animation that goes with them is adorable moving on to the valentine's day stuff so this is the stuff that we have in the game so far i don't know whether they are going to release more stuff for valentine's day i kind of hope they do because this is a little bit lackluster but you have the rose bouquets in six different colors my favorite at the moment i'm pretty sure is this uh pink one and then maybe the yellow i like them and the four different chocolate boxes it seems strange to me that they didn't release six of the chocolate boxes like one for each color of the roses but you know it's nintendo <laughs> with this update we also got a mr rossetti model i think it is so so cute it reminds me of the older games when rossetti used to terrorize me um, when i didn't save my games but i still really like it i think that mr Seti is a much missed character and i really hope that he comes back or gets to play a bigger role in the future and the final part of this update is the football stuff so we have the american football rug like this and then we get a bunch of megaphones so there's different ones there's the fiery one if you press a you do this like crazy animation <laughs> um i had the football one it's a red one that kind of looks like an american football i guess you cannot move while you're doing the animation so whatever direction you're in you stay <laughs> this is the glittery one and the starry one i think the starry one's my favorite <laughs> To end off the showcase, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what the items look like at night. As you can see, loads of them have different lights on and they shine so beautifully. These are absolutely perfect for nighttime photos. Anyway guys, I'm going to finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful to you in some way. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. It really does mean the world to me. Also like the video if you found this helpful. And I will see you guys either in the next live stream or the next island tour. Bye guys!